Hi, this is Trey Pastor. Welcome to my review of Thor Ragnarok. I went to see it today, and uh, um, I really uh, was looking forward to this. You know, big fan of Chris Hemsworth, and uh, I just think he just <laughs> he just has this great casting on their part to get him to play Thor because he just completely owns the role. And uh, this movie, basically, if you've seen the trailer, you know what it's about. Thor basically gets trapped on the other side of the universe, uh, basically in a war world type of place where he basically has to fight uh, uh, to survive and he's in a race to try to get back you know to Asgard to stop the destruction you know the coming of Ragnarok you know which is destruction of Asgard you know which is a famous thing in comic books and stuff okay now did I enjoy this movie yes was this movie funny double yes uh, was this movie had good action in it yes and yes and yes okay first of all I love the uh, the whole direction they went, they went with this. And Chris Hemsworth, basically, if you've seen him in, in the, you know, the God Awful Ghostbusters movie, you know he really can do comedy. And he really has that on display in this movie. He, he plays off uh, a lot of different characters very well. He always had good chemistry with Tom Hiddleston, who was in this also as Loki. They have really good <laughs> uh, comedic timing and, you know, and really, um, you know, I guess brotherly, uh, I guess, chemistry. You know, they really, you know, when they're in the scenes together, you know, they, they really, the scenes really pop because they really play off each other really well. And that's on display a lot in this movie, uh, which, again, again, Tom Hiddleston does a great job as, as Loki, as usual. He's another one of my favorites. And uh, also, uh, Kate Blanchett, let's just say uh, <laughs> she can do comedy and she should really do more comedy because not only does she play the, you know, the, you know, this hell of this queen of death uh, part very well doing the... Uh, you know, being this, you know, this dominating force, but she also, she also has a kind of dry wit in this as well, and she does really good well with the comedy as well. And uh, Jeff Goldblum is this, you know, Jeff Goldblum. He plays the Grand Master who's in charge of this place where they battle, you know, these the champions battle against other champs, sort of like Gladiator in a way. And he's just, <laughs> Jeff Goldblum is, you know, has that same dry wit that he always usually has in these movies, and he's absolutely hilarious. Okay, and uh, Tessa Thompson, who plays uh, Valkyrie, she is fantastic. She was, I think, the last movie that I saw her in was um, a Creed, and uh, I know she was used to be on Veronica Mars, and she's now she's kind of blowing up now. She's being in more movies, and she's really good as Valkyrie. She made me, you know, I, I know she was good because from the other stuff that I've seen her in, but she really yeah, was good at the comedy as well, uh, and she's just, you know, a kick-ass star, and I know she wanted to... She, I think she made a mention, I think I read somewhere, she wanted to make a mention that they should be a female, uh, like, team-up movie for MCU characters, and I definitely think uh, that should, they should definitely do that, because Tessa Thompson has good screen charisma, and again, she plays well off Chris Hemsworth and Tom Hiddleston, and again, uh, what's his name, uh, who plays the Hulk, uh, Mark Ruffalo, she plays off him as w extremely well, and she's, again, this movie, again, has really good acting in this real good comedy and all the actors do a great job of playing off each other and again even mark ruffalo who plays of course the hulk you know cgi wise and bruce banner and he, he was really funny too and and there's some great scenes with him in this movie that was going to have you this you know, cracking up and that was as well done including the hulk in this movie uh, you know i know it's based off you know uh, uh war hulk and stuff and all that stuff but including him in this movie was a Stroke of genius because uh, he, he definitely adds to this movie and makes it makes it one of the you know, great things that you that you can see and he also have uh, Anthony Hopkins as Odin in there yeah he's you know Anthony Hopkins you know he does his usual really good job and he has some good scenes in this movie he's not in it as much but he has some really good meaningful scenes in this movie and uh, which really uh, uh, tug on the old heartstrings there. And Carl Urban, who I, is just one of my favorite actors, to play Scourge, he is <laughs> he's a scream. He again, all these actors do, they do so well with the comedy, as well as the, you know the regular. You know, this is an action movie, a Marvel movie, but they do really good with the comedy. And, and Carl Urban was again <laughs> really funny too in certain spots as well. And then you have Idris Elba in there. He plays Helm in and then and he gets a lit to do a lot more than he did in the past movies. Which is good, and I know he's probably appreciated that they get to do more, which I think was good because you know you got an actor of his caliber. It's good that they gave him more to do, and it adds to the movie. 
And again, the action in there is just absolutely fantastic. The comedy is just <laughs> laugh out funny and hilarious. And it definitely adds to the Marvel movies. Okay, this is again way better than, of course, in the second movie. And I think it is it's probably even way better than the first movie. You know, the first one movie, I, I really had a kind of an affection for the first movie. Uh, but this one, I think, is the best uh, Thor movie. It's just, it's just again, the comedy, the action, the, the, the story, the, the story, the meaning, the deepful, meaningful story really uh, makes this movie uh, a standout for, as far as MCA, MC, MCE movies or, all right, Marvel, okay, or Marvel movies, okay? Uh, I'm going to give uh, uh, Thor Ragnarok, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. There were only a few nitpicks that I had with this movie, and I'll explain those nitpicks when I do my spoilers review, which I'll do probably tomorrow on my other channel called Views and Opinions, but I'm going to give it an 8. It was just, again, again another home run for Marvel as far, as far as this movie. I mean, it was definitely a movie that you would love to see again and again. It's it's funny, hilarious, good action. Again, Chris Hemsworth is just hilarious with the comedy. He's really a good comedic actor as well as, you know, doing the dramatic stuff as well. So I definitely uh, recommend this. Definitely see it. And... I'm looking forward to seeing the uh, Infinity War and stuff. And again, Tessa Thompson, I know she made that mention about them doing a movie, uh, all Avengers, a female, like Avengers type movie. Definitely do that. I definitely would pay to see that and definitely have include her in it because she is just, she, you know, again, she has screen presence. She's good with the comedy and she's good with the action. And I definitely uh, would love to see her again in one of these MCE movies. She is just, she's fantastic. I really, uh, like Tessa Thompson, I think she's she's gonna be a big star in it because she again she has green presence and then and then some and gets you know all these other big stars she's in there and she holds her own and she's fantastic. Anyway, so again eight out of ten for me for uh, Thor Ragnarok. Again, I will do a spoiler review spoiler review on my other channel called Views and Opinions. The link will be below and I'll probably do that tomorrow. So look for that and also I have links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Instagram in the description box. Uh, please check those out as well, and um, please see Thor Ragnarok. It's definitely uh, uh, worth seeing, and of course they do have uh, after credit scenes, and I will talk about that in my spoilers review. Okay, so and everybody knows MCA do that, does that, and I'll talk about that in the spoilers review that I do. So anyway, let me know what you think of this review. Feel free to leave comments down below. If you like this review, please hit the subscribe button down below. I have links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Instagram again. And also my other channel called Views and Opinions. And look out for that spoilers review of Thor Ragnarok, which will be up on my other channel tomorrow. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.